You don't know why you keep visiting her. The fiberglass clown in your basement. Sometimes she's a cop. Why do you never visit the old seashells you collected on vacation when you were ten? Sometimes she's an entrepreneur. This, I think. This, I think. I think you can probably use this for an art project. Look at it. It's it's a beautiful red. It's pretty light. It's I I can carry it pretty easily. And you know, an object like this. It's gotta be treated like a beautiful, feral creature. It's gotta be free. It's gotta do something um, heroic. Or maybe just like bring it into your room and frame your bed with it. I, I think this needs to go, maybe this could go home with you today. Just think about it. I'm just gonna, I'll pack it up close to your knapsack. Mostly, she's your time machine. To enter the time machine, we must fill out our name, date, and reason for a visit in the Book of Itch. Often our clown is skeptical of us. As per tradition, we visit the portal of Venus. Looking at our old Venus painting from first year art school, we are reminded of the critique where our classmates told us that our painting is the reason why sexism exists in society. Thus, the Venus stays hidden in the basement. She's so beautiful. With the clown. Shall we spin the wheel of inflammation? It's unfortunate that we have landed on the Granny Panty Cave again. For some reason, it always feels like this one comes up way more often than we have control over. You never come to the Granny Panty Cave, and when you do, I feel like it's out of obligation. We must endure. I feel like it's because you land on it, but you actually don't want to get the tour. But I just feel like it's actually important for you to see because it's like a nice cultural experience for you. I'll show you a little, I'll just show you a couple and then we can maybe discuss it and have like a nice like philosophical discussion. Here I could tell you're a fan of nature. You're an environmentalist. You love summer and life. This one is I think gonna be in your to-go pile. Let's keep spinning the Wheel of Inflammation. This one is actually very convenient to land on if you've picked up some plate or glassware from a second-hand shop recently. Often vintage glass made before the 80s contains lead. Perfect, lead-free. If she ever does find lead, good luck ever getting your antiques back from her. She will confiscate them. There's no other way to say it, this is a gross situation. Morgellons disease you can't actually land on. Morgellons disease lands on you. We are unsure how she keeps finding expired lollipops but they make us uncomfortable. The bulge in her cheeks looks too much like a tumor on her. It's important for us to keep our wits about us when entering the art pound, or it will take twice as long. She can always tell when we are impatient. Ah, the forgotten ones. And here we are, face to face with our old zines. You become stronger to protect those you love. You have a cat girl as a friend. Even when you are fatally wounded, you keep fighting. Very deep. For some reason, we made a fan fiction diorama of the famous 1843 Grace Marks murder mystery, where a Canadian Irish maid allegedly killed her employers. The clown loves this one. When I grow up, I want to be an artist. My favorite color is pink. 
If we go too far into the R pound, we will find a black box containing harvested Beanie Babies tags and underneath our own baby teeth. For eight years, the fiberglass clown has sat in the art pound, unresolved. How to make this character which is both afflicted and carcinogenic? Fortunately, for six months we've had chronic skin problems and have been diagnosed with everything from scabies, to infection, to self-inflicted mutilation. The itch is now our muse. The fiberglass clown is strangely loyal. She won't accept adoption unless all her art pound friends are adopted with her. So here she stays, eating herself. She is testing us. We will not flinch as she pretends to eat our various tissues extracted from past biopsies. If you've been working with fiberglass, there's a chance that you're going to be significantly itchy. And that's because the shards of the fiberglass, the actual fibers, sometimes get embedded in your skin. If you're not wearing gloves, if you're wearing a short sleeve shirt, let's say, and your skin is exposed, those shards get embedded in your skin. Everyone who is born holds dual citizenship in the kingdom of the well and the kingdom of the sick. Although we all prefer to use only the good passport, sooner or later, each of us is obliged, at least for a spell, to identify ourselves as citizens of that other place. A quote from Susan Sontag. I debated not giving credit to her and thieving the quote for myself. Susan also said, you are so pretty. Has anybody ever told you that? If you wanted to land on the secret wheel within the wheel, you'd have to distract the fiberglass clown. Usually placing an iPad in front of her with some 90s tomboy feminism works. Now for the reason we came here. To spend some quality time with old pics and vids of us looking skinny. So skinny, we looked like a teenager. But this, of course, activates the clown. And she goes on a rant. And she huffs and puffs. And she gets more inflamed. It hurts when I see you struggle. You come to me with ideas. You say they're just pieces so my puzzle. Cause the shit I hear is crazy. But you're either getting lazy or you don't believe in you no more. Seems like your own opinion's not one you can form. Can't make a decision. You keep questioning yourself. Second guessing. And it's almost like you're begging for my help. Like I'm your leader. You're supposed to freaking be my mentor. I can endure. No more I demand you remember who you are. And we leave. And surprisingly, we start to feel a bit better, a bit healthier, for now. I just wanted to say that the white walls and fake gray wood in dermatologist offices are ugly. Aren't you supposed to be one of the most profitable industries? I'd rather be in a yellowed doctor's office with a group of seven paintings and outdated magazines. You want to look like a white cube gallery space? Is that it? Your products are works of art? Even gallery spaces know they are oppressive and don't want to look like that anymore. You have no style.
This one I just brought in to stir the pot because it's so wild. There's so many things going on. You got lace everywhere on the, in the back. You got polka dots. And it's like you're like a little ladybug. And then in the front, you've got these little ribbons that go up here and then bows. I just thought that this one, they really went for every little theme and I really respect the creators of these. You recognize this? You recognize this? Organic cotton, hand dyed. Very expensive, you got it off of Etsy. You got it handmade, this is hand stitched on a sewing machine. You were very excited. You felt that this maybe would change your life. It would make you healthier. This was the new corner of your new life experience with only organic clothes. Very exciting little moment in your life. It's here, you can, do, you can take it back anytime you like. There's one over here too, it's green. I like how they only chose earthly colors. <laughs> you know I like this one. Blue, and then you won't even believe it. Blue, I found two in the same spot. How wild, twins, identical twins. I just thought, how wonderful we live in a world where we can find twins like this. So lovely. I'll put this over here, you can think about it, okay? This, I think, I think this is your to-go pile because it's polka dots, it's artistic, it's a nice, nice gray, very complimentary. I think, I think maybe we'll just put this here, you can decide later. And last, a classic, a classic. What do you think? These are all new. I haven't even shown you any of these before and I've just been like really deep into the cave, like looking around for all the things that you might like and rummaging and lots of people say, oh, I wanna uh, go to space and I wanna go deep sea searching in the caverns. But I'm thinking, what about your closet? There's so many good things in your closet that you can discover, you know? This is my philosophy.